India will be investing about $1 trillion to really make our energy and electricity infrastructure world class. And while we do that, we are also changing the energy mix. A large part of our focus today is to encourage renewables, to look at energy conservation. And I'm delighted to share with you that last year was the first year where our capacity increase, installed capacity increase in renewables was more than our increase in conventional forms of energy. I remember three years ago, solar power in India was about 12 cents for a unit of energy. We scaled up that program massively. In fact, the growth in the last three years has been 370% in solar energy installed capacity. And today we have the last bidding of solar power at four cents per unit of electricity, down by 60%. And that only encourages us to look at even more bigger and bolder targets. Unless the people aspire for a good quality of life, it's very difficult to really take the fruits of development to the people. And unless you have very strong leadership which is committed to serving those aspirations, one can never really get this kind of transformational results. And I do believe that if the commitments that were made at Perry, particularly around access to technology, around access to low-cost, long-tenor finance, are fulfilled by the world collectively, I see no challenge. There would be the typical local issues like availability of land. There would be concerns about integrating the grid with this large capacities of renewables. But we can address all of them. We are working to address them. That's a local issue. But certainly we will look for the collective effort of the world. I have on more occasion than one discussed with world leaders that it's time that the world collectively decides that wherever technologies are focused towards a safer planet, we must uh, try and make that open access technology. We must try and make it available to the whole world so that we can encourage clean energy, encourage sustainability while making it more affordable. If we believe in it and we work towards it collectively, all of us can make a difference. We are, we are creating a platform which will not entail any direct action or financing, but will become a catalyst to bring the latest of technologies, to bring finance, to bring new ideas, ways of implementation, and bring all the solar rich countries around the world, which are between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. About 121 countries we are trying to bring together on the International Solar Alliance platform to help and assist each other and work together as partners to make this dream of sustainability and poverty elevation eradication come true.